Turbo. Whenever I would talk about this movie to my friends and family, they all tell me the same thing. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard of. It's funny how people say that considering many of the other DreamWorks films has a premise that can be as weird as this, like a kung fu fighting panda? That's cool. A slapstick cartoon about animals from the Central Park Zoo released in the wild? Sounds good. A snail that can go fast wants to race against real cars? Whoa there, that's jumping the shark! But can DreamWorks prove that the best movies come from the craziest ideas? Or is it as ridiculous as it sounds? Let's find out. The Story I have often joked about this movie with my friends, but now I feel shocked about it because now the joke's on us because this is a full-on ripoff of Pixar's Cars. Not just because of the theme of racing, but also because of a colorful cast, which I'll talk about later, and some plot elements has been taken directly from Cars. I mean, if there's a side plot where the characters are going in a race to make their rundown strip mall into a household name, it's for sure that they had a bit of inspiration during the writing. But moving on to the story itself, it's actually the Dreamer story where Theo wants to be in the Indy 500, and then he becomes fast and, well, he's in the Indy 500. It's not really as crazy as it sounds, considering that it did work for something like Ratatouille, but in here, it becomes very predictable from top to bottom. It's easy to guess what will happen next and actually get it right. Now, it's been said that audiences have to be in a different mindset in order to enjoy this movie due to the ridiculous premise. I can understand that, and it seems possible to do it, but I was so flabbergasted by the huge amount of similarities to Cars that it was hard for me to set my mind for this movie. I knew the story would be more in the unoriginal side, but not to the point where it obviously stole from another animated film! The Animation there is no denying that DreamWorks did make some nice animation here, but it doesn't really stand out from the other films they did, like The Croods. The movie is set more in an urban environment, rather it be in the garden where the snails work, the strip mall where most of the characters are from, or in the Indy 500. They're well made and it achieved to set the mood of the film, but it doesn't feel like it's anything new, so the environment is not its strongest point. For the characters, I feel like their designs are more kid-friendly and round, in a sense that the snails look like they were designed more for a Fisher-Price toy than a DreamWorks film. Same goes to the human characters. But on the other hand, they do make it up a bit with some nice character animation. Other than that, there are some aspects of the animation that I really did enjoy. Since at times we see in the point of view of Theo and the other snails, they do get into great detail with the textures, and since the movie settings are more urban, we get to see a lot more different things close up. Even more than in Epic. As for the lighting, they often do that Tron light beam to show the speed of the cars or when Theo goes fast, and it really does help fit the mood of the action scenes. That and the movie can get really colorful, especially with the snails. Reminds me a bit of something like, oh, I don't know, cars? But anyways, DreamWorks did make some good animation, but it's not their finest example of what they can do. The Characters Like I mentioned before, the characters share a strong similarity to Cars in a sense that most of them are just one-dimensional and or one-off jokes. For the main characters, Theo, or Turbo, is the passionate dreamer who wants to be a racer and suddenly becomes part car. Yeah, he doesn't just become fast. He also has headlights, blinkers, a radio, and he leaves tire tracks everywhere he goes. They only use those add-ons as jokes, and it just makes the premise sound even weirder than it already is. There's Chet, who is the pessimistic and realistic brother that doesn't believe in him until the very end. By the way, they both have a human equivalent who are also important characters named Tito and Angelo. You can guess who's the human version of whom just from one of their names. 
They are literally the same characters, and the only purpose they serve is to bring Theo to the Indy 500. For the rest of the characters, they all just serve to be one joke or have one kooky personality, like Smooth Move is the cool rapper of the group, White Shadow is the fat one that thinks he can easily be hidden, and probably everyone's favorite would be Whiplash, because who doesn't love a crazy Samuel Jackson? The same can go with the human characters, like Kim Lee is just Mr. Chow as an old lady. The one good thing I can say about them is that there will be one that can be likable, and they do serve to help Theo and Tito out. The most different character of the group would be Guy Gagné, the Indy 500 champ who is Theo's idol, but in the race, oh he's not really a nice guy, no big shock. It's possible to find one likable character in here, but none of them can be considered original or creative. Turbo is basically DreamWorks interpretation of cars with snails and Verizon advertising everywhere that have some decent looking animation, but the story and characters have too much of a resemblance to the Pixar movie. I'd only recommend this to those who really do enjoy the Cars movies, even the second one. For the rest, well, it would be best to stick with the first Cars than this. It's a little funny how these movies are set up this year. Now that we're done with the ripoff, it's time to move on to the spin-off. <laughs>